even if you want to have more energy, like for instance, for male bodies, when when they have a ejaculation, when they do ejaculate, there is a bit of sexual energy that leaves their body. So, you know, you feel a bit more tired. And so if you learn how to let that energy circulate and not necessarily all the time, like ejaculate or have clitoral orgasm for women, then you will also have more energy for your day to day. Mm. And so it's really like so, so supportive. And I personally also really like to use it as therapy. So in the midst of it, in the like peak of my orgasm, that's often when I process things. And like, you know, you can use psychedelic if you have that like intention of channeling that energy for that reason, that could be also used for healing. And when I work mm. with uh, clients, I often tell them when I give uh, a tantric massage, which is full body massage, including as well the genital, if they're open to receive that, if they're, what like they're looking for, um, you know, that things might come up, like old trauma, things might come up because we are moving sexual energy as well for the healing. So what is in between my pop out for being healed? And so it can be also yeah. used as a spiritual practice and as a healing practice. So sexual energy really can be a magical tool that we is underestimate. And of course, the first step is unlocking it. So if it's a bit like repressed or not fully harnessed, then the first step is like learning how to let it move through you fully. And mm. then you know, the second step, you kind of can harness and channel that energy in the direction most helpful for you.